Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel Genome Voice Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video, we will talk about violent plot. That how we can create a violent plot. But first we know that what is violent plot. Violent plot is a hybrid of box plot and a kernel density plot. It means that it has the property or the importance or the value of both that box plot and the kernel plot. It is used to visualize the distribution of our numerical data. That how our data like if we are working on genes. So how our expressed genes are shown or how much they have expressed. Unlike the box plot it shows the summary of statistics but in violent plot it depicted not only the statistical summary of our data but also it shows the density of each variable for example that if we are working on genes so we it shows that our upregulated genes expressed how much upregulation and our downregulated genes expressed how much they show their density or if we are working on any treated sample if we have given some treatments to our plants and we have done some antioxidant analysis in plants shoots and roots for example i want to show that how much sod or pod or apx shown in the roots and sh and the shoots in one click or in one eye so it gives through violent plot. So how we can create this violent plot? First we need to make the file. So how we make the file? Let's start. So this is my Excel sheet and it has the data that these is the genes that these are my gene 1 and this is my gene 2 and this is my third gene. And here are I have given some treatment and in for example it is a, in control it was upregulated and in the treated sample it was downregulated. Here it also like this uh, with the gene 2 and these are their expression values. So I want to make them and show them in the violent plot. So you need to copy this data and go to the website that bioinformatics the link of that website is present in the video description and then you simply need to paste your data in that box and here are some options if you want to change that figure width height or tick size or whatsoever if you want it it is okay if you want to keep them as default so it's also okay and then click on submit when you click on submit so here it gives us that plot that this is the gene 1, this is the gene 2 and this is the gene 3. And the yellow shows that the upper regulation density of that genes while the that uh, orange color shows the down regulation of that gene density. So in, in one view you can see that the upper regulation density was lower in gene 1 and 2 were in the gene 3 it was higher while the down regulation in, in, as compared to the uh, control or in the treatment is higher in gene 1 and 2 as compared to gene 3. So in this way you can make your data and present them in violent plot. So if you have another that if you have some treatment given some treatment to your uh, plants that treatment 1 or treatment 2 and treatment 3 and you have done some antioxidant analysis and uh, you want to see the SOD in uh, leaves and roots of uh, that treatment 1 and also the leaves and uh, roots of treatment 2 and simply same way you can copy and then paste it in that box like all we and submit it 
and also it gives you that that the treatment one treatment two treatment three here it shows the doses and this is your values and if you didn't have that group you only also you can you put this only that data you didn't want to see in that you are any organ or like this so you only you can also put that treatment and the value data then it didn't distribute it in the select all we and uh, submit so here it give because we didn't distributed them into groups like uh, in first example up regulation down regulation and the second the root or should so here it gives only the same value and it didn't have the two color of that one violent graph so in this way you can make that violent graph and then you can use it into your manuscript or your thesis or uh, whatever you want to use it so, and simply you can download it in a pdf form or any other form and then use it so it will help hopefully it will help you please like and comment thank you